Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Max. I usually read. I've been really enjoying the colder days. It's so nice. The heat was really bothering me and it was also like unnatural to be this hot this time of year. It's not normal because of climate change, but it makes me really sad. And <laughs> Climate change aside, I've been really enjoying the fall days, but also this also means it's getting dark outside a lot sooner and the days are much smaller and that, that I don't like will adapt. Right now it's not too bad, but next week the hours change and that means then it's gonna get dark outside at like 6 p.m. <laughs> and it hurts me in my heart. I've also been, even though I've been enjoying the fall days, I've been feeling very disconnected from myself. I've had like a few stressful days at work and I just, I haven't been reading for the past week, like barely reading, which is always a sign that I'm not like feeling great because the good habits are always the first ones to go. I haven't been consistent to the gym, going to the gym. Need to change things up. I journaled for a bit this morning just to center myself. That's also another habit that I haven't been doing. I used to journal like not every day, but very, very often. When I'm feeling my best, it's when I journal more because I don't keep things inside my head and I can put them outside and actually gain some perspective. But that hasn't been happening. I just need to get my contract with my habits. Hopefully, we'll see a bit of that in this vlog. And yeah, right now I'm just gonna drink my tea which i'm so happy about it's lemon and ginger tea it's my favorite and i'm gonna read my book i'm still reading the blue sky by tony morrison i'm hoping to finish it either today or tomorrow and maybe i'll talk about it in this vlog if everything goes well i'm sorry to be whispering but I live with like three other people. I share a house with three other people and I don't like bothering people. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna read for a bit because tomorrow I have an early morning and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. I'm on my way to meet a friend because, like I said yesterday, we're going to the cinema, but we're having a pumpkin spice latte before, and I've never tried it, so I'm really, really excited. Okay, I'm just waiting for the bus.
Hello, good morning. Today is Monday. Yesterday was like a really tiring day. I feel like today I'm working. It should be a rest day because yesterday was a taxing day. There's so much dust. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yesterday was Sunday. Me and my friend meet up at Starbucks to have a pumpkin spice latte to celebrate fall. I never tried it, but it was really good. <laughs> I, 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 I loved it. The girlies, the girlies were right. It was really good. Anyways, after that, we went to the cinema at like 10.35 in the morning which I don't think I've ever been to the cinema in the morning but the movie we were watching was Killers of the Moon Flower, Flower Moon whatever it is and the movie was more than three hours it was like almost three and a half hours so watching that at night I was gonna fall asleep 100% so we went in the morning and I think it was a good decision like I wasn't bored during the movie I think it was pretty watchable I was thinking it was gonna be a chore to get through and that wasn't the case at all I thought the story was really interesting obviously it wasn't a story that I was familiar with so it's even more interesting to be watching a movie that's actually giving you information about something that you don't know about and I thought that was great the performances were really great. Um, if you don't know, it's a Scorsese film, so obviously he had a gigantic budget and all the time in the world, so the movie was really long. The movie is about the Osage murders in the United States in the 1920s. The Osage is an Indian tribe in the United States of America. And I thought it was really interesting. My knowledge is very lacking when it comes to indigenous stories and tribes and history. So it's not surprising to me that I didn't know anything about it. So I thought it was really interesting and educational in a sense. Um, I still think it was pretty long. Like, even though it wasn't a chore to get through, no movie needs to be more than two hours long. And I stand by that. <laughs> After that, I met up with some other friends because we were watching Hunger Games. <laughs> because the new Hunger Games about President Snow is coming out in November. So for some reason that I didn't know, the other Hunger Games are going to be in theaters again. And that is... When I found out, I was so excited. I was like, who's going to watch it with me? And it was a really fun time. <laughs> Those movies just... I really liked it. I really like Hunger Games. I think the movies are actually in the books. And the story and the message is actually really clever for a YA dystopian novel. So that is what I think. If I watched it now for the first time, would I like it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> But because I watched it so many years ago, I think it still stands, contrary to Twilight, for example. I think the movie is still solid. I liked it, obviously rating for the nostalgic sense, but still really good. I wish I had the money and could justify going to watch all of them in the cinema, but I can't do that. So we'll stay here and then I'll watch the other ones at home. That's it. That's the event. For some reason, pimples showed up in my face this weekend. Don't know why. Thought my skin was getting better. <laughs> but it happens, I guess, every one of my period. Okay. I'll see you later.
currently raining so heavily outside i just got home from work and i was gonna go to the gym but i got home like soaking wet like my jeans were all wet and i just i don't think i have it in me to go to the gym like this because on my way to the gym my new clothes will be all wet and i'd have to do a gym class soaking wet from the rain <laughs> so i think i'm just gonna stay in have a cozy night in today because this is not it this is simply not it to be outside this is perfect weather to be inside and i just i'm i, I don't feel brave enough to go outside when i'm safe at home <laughs> So I'm just not gonna go. it's later um it's still tuesday i come to you with a reading update because i finished the bluest eye by tony morrison this was tony morrison's debut novel it was published in i believe 1969 if i'm not mistaken it takes place in the 1940s in ohio in the united states in the united states of america and follows piccola a black poor girl who hasn't had a particularly nice life. She's poor and said to be ugly and is like mistreated by everybody around her. Just hasn't had a nice life at all. And this focus on her desire to be beautiful and seen as pretty by society. And to her, this materializes in having blue eyes. If she had blue eyes, she will be beautiful because that's what, according to society and what according to the white American beauty pattern, a beautiful girl is white and, blue, and with blue eyes. It's told from multiple points of view and several perspectives from people who intercepted Piccolo's life and have had an impact on it some way or another. It's also, it has some sections that are narrated by one of Piccolo's childhood friends, I guess you could call her. And she has the opposite point of view of Piccola's, not point of view, but the opposite beliefs. She can't understand why someone, why a black girl could want blue eyes. Just because, the, just because of society, she doesn't understand it and thinks it's an abomination pretty much. So that's really interesting. She really defies what society has said. It's actually beautiful. So that is really interesting. This book is just wonderful. It, it is wonderfully written, depicts such horrible things, but it's written in a way that you can't help but love. It's simply beautiful. There are a few people who write like this in this world, Anthony Morrison. Toni Morrison is really high on my list of best writers I've ever read, to be honest. And this is her debut novel, like, excuse me? How dare you? Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, this is The Bluest Eye. I read it for the course of like three weeks, two weeks, I don't even know. It's a disservice, really. I want to reread it, like, right now. I'm not going to. I also want to read her work 
chronologically I think that would make sense since I started with the debut novel if you by any chance read this I beg of you please do it's still as relevant as when it was written so please give it a read it deserves all the time in the world all the attention and also I beg of you to read the forward in the afterward because it really gives an insight into what the intention of Toni Morrison was and it's also equally beautiful, beautifully written, like I, I can't say it enough she is a master of words, like very few people are anyways, I'm gonna stop, I've been talking for a little while, I'm gonna try and keep this short I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoy this reading vlog thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video Bye!